Possibly the most popular type of doodle is the golden doodle. This is primarily due to their parents, the poodle and the golden retriever, having a high intelligence level, and that, combined with the golden retriever's pleasant, laid-back, and friendly personality. As a matter of fact, most doodle owners believe that the golden doodle is an excellent family dog. However, that does not imply that everybody should own one. The sad truth is that golden doodles are increasingly being rehomed after owners realize they are not the right dog for them. So before you get one, watch this video to the end, as we will address 5 reasons why you should not be a pet parent to a golden doodle. Let's begin. Number 1. You have no time to socialize a dog. First and foremost, golden doodles are sociable dogs that require a substantial amount of social interaction. As soon as you get your puppy, you should begin socializing him by taking him to the park to meet other people, dogs, and children. If a golden doodle lacks mere socialization, it might be troublesome, like excessive barking and aggression, when he comes across other humans, animals, and children. Plus, most dogs are already fearful of going to the groomer and to the vet, so adding a lack of socialization will increase their fear. Also, keep in mind that socialization is a key component in a dog's overall health and well-being. Golden Doodles make excellent pets, but socialization is a must. So, if you lack the time, desire, or energy to provide early and ongoing socialization to a Golden Doodle, then consider another dog. Number 2. You work away from home. Both Golden Doodle parents, the Poodle and Golden Retriever, were originally bred to work closely with their owners, work that led them to desire being around their people. Plus, as mentioned earlier, they are highly affectionate and sociable dogs, so they are prone to separation anxiety when left alone for long periods. Yes, these are the kinds of dogs that must spend most of their time with their human family. Again, they do make wonderful family pets, but when their people are around, on the other hand, they can be a real hassle for a busy family that is constantly on the go, unless, of course, you can bring them along. However, there are times when you simply cannot bring them with you, such as at work. And if left alone, they can become destructive and won't be the dog you bargained for. Nonetheless, you can help to mitigate their separation anxiety by leaving them at a doggy daycare, but the cost will add up, or maybe it will be just outright pricey for some. So, if you work from home or no one is home for most of the day, a golden doodle is not the best option for you. Number 3. You are not an active person. Golden doodles are active and intelligent dogs. Both the golden retriever and poodle sides of the family contribute to their high level of energy. They were bred to spend time in the water or fields, pursuing their owner's catches, which require a lot of endurance and energy. Golden Doodles are companion dogs today, but they still have a lot of energy and endurance, almost to the same degree as the parent breeds did decades ago. Every day, this energy needs to be used up. As a result, they need to be physically active and mentally engaged. Yes, Golden Doodles come in three sizes based on the poodle parentage, but regardless of size, they are sturdy, active, robust dogs that need exercise every single day and not just letting them out in the backyard. They actually need at least 30 minutes of vigorous exercise every day, like playing fetch, hiking, or water sports, just to name a few. If they don't get enough physical activity and mental stimulation, they'll start to form unhealthy habits, or choose to pass their time in ways you wouldn't usually approve of, like chewing your things, and more. A golden doodle is more suitable for families, or individuals that can spend a few hours a day, playing ball with the dog or taking him on long walks. Or for active people who are able to take their dog with them while they run, hike, or socialize. Otherwise, this is not the dog for you. Number 4. You want a low-maintenance dog. By now, you should know that Golden Doodles aren't low-maintenance dogs, but in this topic, we will discuss their care. Golden Doodles are thought to require little upkeep, because the poodle side makes them shed little and they are considered hypoallergenic. But this does not equal a low-maintenance dog. Take a couple of seconds to think about the poodle and golden retriever hair combination. Yes, you're correct, if you consider that the time it takes to brush and comb a golden doodle will more than make up for the time you will save by not having to vacuum up their fur regularly. So frequent and timely coat care cancels out minimal vacuuming. 
Plus, their shedding is not 0%, so you will still need to occasionally vacuum. Doodles with long, curly hair should not only be brushed every day, but they must be line brushed, if not, their coat will become matted. Plus, they are a hot mess if you take them out when it's raining. Alternatively, you can keep their fur short to help reduce the amount of daily upkeep required, but you also lose the fluffy appearance and feel that so many people desire. Additionally, maintaining a short coat requires frequent visits to the groomer or learning how to do it yourself. If you want an all-around low-maintenance dog, a Golden Doodle is just not for you. Number 5. You do not have the financial means to purchase your doodle from a reputable breeder. If you are a new owner, it is critical to understand that the breeder you choose will have a significant impact on the health and learning capacity of your future dog. Golden Doodles are expensive, but if you decide to take the cheap route by buying from a backyard breeder or a puppy mill, you will potentially get a pup without the proper health screening, one that could be sick, and so on. And it's only natural that if you end up with a problematic pup, it will potentially impact you, both emotionally and financially. You may even resort to rehoming, like most people do. So to avoid rehoming the dog and to help lessen any unknowns or burdens of having a new pup, it's very important that you only purchase your doodle from a reputable breeder. And that's because they usually do the required tests, screening, and other practices to ensure that they breed healthy puppies that are actually golden doodles. Having said that, golden doodles are not cheap, so reputable breeders' price range can be a bit pricey. I see prices going up to 5,000 US dollars. Remember, puppies that are much cheaper may be more expensive in the long haul. Keep in mind that purchasing from a reputable breeder is not insurance against potential health issues, but the odds of getting a healthy and happy pup are much more likely. Did we miss any other reason not to get a golden doodle? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.